Now, negotiators are in the final days of the UN Biodiversity Summit in Montreal, hoping for a new agreement to protect endangered plant and animal life. In the Canadian Arctic, there's a new warning over what diminishing sea ice means for polar bears who are struggling to adapt to a warming landscape. The bears hunt and fish on the icy Hudson Bay around the town of Churchill. Our science correspondent, Victoria Gill, reports. In the Hudson Bay, the polar bears are waiting for the sea to freeze. Sea ice that disappeared over the summer is reforming. This bear's testing it to see if it'll take its weight. Along with UK-based Arctic scientist Professor Gareth Rees, I connected with the polar bear research team from their Tundra Buggy, an observation lab on tracks from which they can work and film. That is a live shot, yeah. So that's happening just outside the window here. I'm absolutely fascinated to see where you are and what you're doing. So they're slowly making their way to the coast of Hudson Bay and it allows us to come here as well in this designated area outside of Churchill and just watch the bears until the ice comes back. How do you see that responding to the impacts of climate change? Looking over the last couple of decades, we see it forms later and later. It breaks up earlier and earlier in spring. So this season uh, in between that is ice free where the bears are on land and can take advantage of the hunting opportunities, that, that season is getting longer and longer with warming. And just explain why do the polar bears need the ice to hunt? They can either sneak up on seals that have hauled out to rest or a polar bear might wait to dive into that seal hole and grab the seal. So they really need that platform to give them the advantage. And without that platform, as this footage the scientists captured recently shows, a bear very quickly gives up the chase. In open water, the seal has the advantage. By 2050, scientists say this vast bay is likely to have more than 200 ice-free days per year, pushing bears to the brink of starvation. These sea ice projections are strongly dependent on the temperature, and the temperature is really dictated by how much greenhouse gases we emit and accumulate in the atmosphere. So there's this uh, relationship between how much we emit, how warm it's going to get, and what it means for sea ice. And as warming approaches a critical point here, polar scientists say Russia's war in Ukraine is preventing them from working in some of the most important parts of the Arctic. It's absolutely essential that we collect data from all around the Arctic. And we've got a big gap now in the Russian Arctic. It's half of the Arctic and we're increasingly losing the ability to measure it and to understand it. Churchill, Manitoba is often called the polar bear capital of the world. And nations are gathered now in Canada to reach an agreement to protect habitats like this. But in just three decades, it could be too warm here for the polar bears to survive. Victoria Gill, BBC News.